Franklin writes, my maternal grandmother died at 104. Her 100th birthday was amazing. She was happy and lucid. But by 103, my guess is she would have loved to skip that last birthday. Extending life is one thing. Having quality is another. What are the most important aspects of your research that, would, that we should pay attention to that increase quality of life outside known things like exercise, good diet, and improved sleep? Uh, yeah, well, so this is, this is a typical case that the older you live, the faster you die, which is a good thing, right? I think we all know somebody who's become sick at 50, and it can be a very drawn out, uh, painful and expensive process. Whereas here, people who live over 100 tend to cost only a third of the medical costs of uh, the rest of us. So that's something, this is a very positive story. Um, so the other question at the bottom is, what should we do to increase quality of life besides exercise, good diet, and improved sleep? Well, if you do those things and you don't smoke and uh, you maintain flexibility and a social network, uh, you're already estimated to get another 15 years of life beyond those who don't. So it's pretty easy to, to get another decade and a half. Going beyond that, getting to 100, that's, that's more challenging because, uh, as I'll explain, our bodies are losing information all the time and trying to preserve that information is, is tough. Uh, but what else could we do? You know, the, the supplements that I'm taking, I'm hoping will enhance the benefits of the exercise and the good diet. Uh, the sleep is definitely important. We know that the genes that control sleep are intimately related to the genes that control lifespan. So that's, that's not a coincidence. Um, I think keeping the brain active is very, very important. Um, so continuing to work or continuing to do stimulating activities um, is key as well. Um, yeah, avoiding things that will slow down your blood flow. You know, vascular dementia is a, is a major problem in society and we need to keep that blood flowing. So exercise will do that. Um, but what will also happen uh, is if you... Uh, just go walking and get your uh, your body moving. That will also um, do wonders, actually. Another thing you can do is to get or to stay with your partner, uh, stay with your social group, uh, and even get a pet. Pets do uh, correlate with longer lifespan. Yeah, of, often people who live over 100 also, uh, two things they say, they say they drink red wine, they have olive oil, and they have a good sense of humor and they never get totally stressed out about life, which uh, it does make sense. Constant cortisol levels cannot be good for you. We've seen what happens to presidents during their term. Right, exactly. 